Allergic rhinitis is an inflammatory disease characterized by nasal symptoms such as rhinorrhea, nasal itching, sneezing and congestion. In addition to nasal symptoms, it is estimated that over 70% of patients may also experience allergic conjunctivitis such as tearing, watering, itching and burning and redness which impacts general well-being and quality of life. A central reflex mechanism is thought to contribute to the nasal and ocular symptoms of allergic rhinitis following results from experiments in which ipsilateral nasal challenge resulted in bilateral nasal and ocular symptoms. This nasoocular neurogenic reflex mechanism is first initiated when a patient who is sensitized to pollen, for example, inhales pollen allergens. Binding of allergen to IgEs on the cell surface results in mast cell degranulation and release of inflammatory mediators such as histamine that are involved in the inflammatory response experienced in allergic rhinitis. Histamine and other inflammatory mediators that are released from mast cells bind to the histamine H1 receptors on the surface of nerves, resulting in local as well as central reflex arcs. In the central reflex mechanism, histamine binding to sensory nerves produces a signal traveling to the midbrain. Activation of the sensory neurons stimulates centers in the midbrain, activating parasympathetic nerves, which induce rhinorrhea and congestion symptoms associated with allergic rhinitis. Acetylcholine is a primary mediator released from parasympathetic nerves, which stimulates lacrimal glands, mucinous glands in the nose, and vasodilation, resulting in tearing and watering of the eye, as well as rhinorrhea. It is therefore proposed that enhanced affinity of fluticasone furate for the glucocorticoid receptor may lead to a reduction of the nasoocular reflex, which explains the consistent reduction of the nasal and ocular symptoms observed in all trials in patients with seasonal allergic rhinitis treated with fluticasone furate.